Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and upload a SSF Temple of uh, Kuatsahatsu Oodle Rayquaza run. So for this run, we're probably, you can see kind of what I have set up. We've got a Storm of Corruption Tier 3, which adds Radiating Tempest, which give Quantity and Rarity, which should stack with Alba's Gift for Quantity and Rarity. Um, we've got a Tier 1 Vault, just a little bit of currency. We've got a Conduit of Lightning. Um, which I believe can have a blue item with physical conversion, which is great for Blade Vortex. Um, Catalyst of Corruption. I don't even know what this does. Upgrades to Locus of Corruption. I literally don't even know what this does. Do I have to go over to this chat? Um, this doesn't really matter, I don't think. And then, yeah, we're pretty much just going to stand this side and go do a breach, and then we'll go fight the Apex. And you can see here, this is the Radiating Tempest, so you can see the quantity and rarity. Yeah, I gambled and got three of the wrong heralds. I don't have any automaton heralds. I have three wasteland heralds. Feels $120, man. Oh, T3 gives the bricking altar. Got it. Okay, well, we're going to the left anyway. Yeah, I'm still streaming after this. This is just a live YouTube video, that's all. Okay, Storm of Corruption. Let's get the Radiating Tempest. Although I really don't think that it works on chests and stuff, but I could totally be wrong. Open that. We actually got a staff. Unfortunately, we're not using a staff for our build. Um. <laughs> Yo, you know, I, I did say I was going to make a Freeze Pulser as my next character, and this does give some nice stuff for Freeze Pulse. Uh, okay, let's go to the vault now. I think we're done with this spot. Okay, awesome, give me the bonus, open, open, open. Uh, I'm just gonna look at all this stuff after, we'll just, I saw 79 life on that piece of gear, whatever it was. Okay, um, Tempest over here, I missed that Tempest. Where is, where is, anything anywhere here? Tempest, Senpai please. That's a whole juicy blue pack. I really want to get a Tempest before going into that. Oh, there it is. There it is. Nice. Beyblade, go. Okay, two stone. Very nice. Alright, open this one. Open this one. Cool. Uh, glittering Trove. Glittering tro open This one. Matua or Matua Kappa Kappa Patua. I don't even know what it's called. Open this one and this one. I think we're good. I like the melee aspect of Blade Vortex just because it allows me to use like Fortify Shield Charge and not feel like I'm forcing myself to go melee. Although I can't really Shield Charge with a wand, but that's beside the point. So this takes us to the Automaton Lab, but we're not going there because we're going to the left here instead. And we're going to go inside here, which should give us another blue piece of gear. Um, oh, that looks... I almost tried to flame dash on top of that. Okay, there's the Thunder Coffer. There's the unique boss. Here's the Herald. Or the Tempest. Pop that. Open this. We got... Okay, and a Gate Amulet. 78 mana and flat mana per second. Alright, that's kind of interesting. I don't really think I need that, but for Mind Over Matter, that's pretty nice looking. Okay, are we done for the most part? Uh, nope, we've got the Armory and we've got a Breach. And more importantly, we've got a Breach with a Tempest. So that's gonna be fun. special out of 
there. Lots of blue packs. Use a Tempest over here. Summon Mr. Wallblade Vortex down there to clear that. Okay. I'll just explore over here really fast. I don't really care. Let's just open this. Uh, nothing over there. I can swing by here as well and just check this room. I just want to kill her with the Radiating Tempest because it like, super drops. Okay, minutes. Cool. Alright, so now we're going to go over to the Breach side, and there should be a Breach because it's Tier 2, if I remember correctly. Yep, there's a Breach right over there. So we're going to wait. Let's see, I'm going to pop the Breach right now, but I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to wait a second for a Tempest. Here's a Tempest, come on. Nice. And summon Blobly... I said Blobly Vortex. There we go. Any drops? Nothing yet. Where's the Tempest? Where's the Tempest? No Tempest yet. Come on. There's a the Tempest. some splinters, which I am not going to use anyway, so. Um, okay, it's time to go to the boss. And we're going to make sure we wait for a Herald. Or, not a Herald, sorry. We're gonna make sure we wait for a Tempest for this one as well. Oh, here it is. Nice! We got a club and a belt and a flask. Okay, so... <clears throat> Let me just see what's garbage from here. Um... Okay, the club gives plus one melee, physical, flat chaos, attacks at 27 attack. Look at that chaos roll with attack speed, though. That's pretty interesting. The chain belt gives 47 ES. That's, uh, yeah, they're okay. Um, this gives dodge and spell dodge with phasing. Now, this is interesting because I was going to use a quartz flask. <clears throat> Vol skills deal 70% increased damage during effect. Vol skills have 25% reduced soul cost. Vol skills used during effect have 33% reduced soul gain prevention duration. That's pretty that's pretty good actually for Vol skills, to be honest. That's a pretty nice flask. I'm very happy about that. Cannot gain mana during effect. Oh my. Uh I don't know how I feel about that now. But that in general, that's like a pretty solid flask. Let me just move some stuff around here. Swap. Uh, that's... That's vendor trash, too. Alright, overall, Temple Run, pretty okay. Uh, decent XP. Um, didn't really get anything too good, except for the Freeze Pulse Staff, because this is like... This is literally just a prefix. So, um... Where's the level tab? There we go. This is very good for leveling, and then this can go in my tab 4. Anyway, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Let me go, let me know what you guys think about the temple. Oh, <laughs> let me know what you guys think about the temple video because maybe I'll be uploading some more in the future. I think it's kind of fun seeing like the progression of the SSF character um, because like the temple drops are so impactful to your, your character's development and your future builds. Have a wonderful time, YouTube.